Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Ashish Sehajpal, Assistant Professor from University Business School, Punjab University Regional Center, Ludhiana. Today, we are going to discuss about the module Management Information System, Sport for Decision Making under the paper Management Information System. After completing this module, the students will be able to comprehend what is meant by decision making, list the various steps in the decision making process, list the type of decisions at the organizational level, understand the role of management information system in decision making, understand various application of management information system that supports decision making in organizations, get overview from industry wide examples how management and information system implementation have supported organizational decisions. At the very onset, let us first understand the concept of decision making. A decision is a choice out of several alternatives made by the decision maker to achieve some objectives in a given situation. Business decisions are those which are made in the process of conducting business to achieve its objectives in a given environment. Managerial decision making is the focal point for any managerial active activity planning. Managerial decision making is the focal point for any managerial activity planning, organizing, staffing, directing, controlling and communicating. Hence, once a decision is taken, it promises commitment of resources. Decision making is not a one time, but a daily activity for any human being. In context of business organization, decision making is a habit and a process as well. The process of decision making utilizes use of many tools, techniques and perceptions. The decision making process requires creativity, imagination and a deep understanding of human behavior. It is imperative to predict and be aware of the implication of the decisions undertaken. In a decision making process, we choose one course of action from a few possible alternatives. In the process of decision making, we make use many tools, techniques and perception. The need for information system in any organization is to support the decision making process. The manager must be aware of what sort of problems shall arise before decisions can be made. A problem exists when the real situation is different than the expected one. A very important prerequisite of strategic planning is to provide the right information at the right time to the right person for making an informed decision. Management information system provides a valuable time saving benefit to the workforce. Employees do not have to collect data manually for filing and analysis. Instead, that information can be entered quickly and easily into a computer program. As the amount of raw data grows too large for employees to analyze, business analysts can build programs to access the data and information in response to queries by management. With faster access to needed information, managers can make better decision about procedures, future directions and developments by competitors and make them more quickly. The decision making process. The following are the important steps in decision making process. Each step here may be supported by different tools and techniques. The very first step, define the problem. A problem can be explained as a question for an appropriate solution. The manager should consider critical or strategic factors 
in defining the problem. These factors are, in fact, obstacles in the way of finding proper solutions. These are also known as limiting factors. The next step in the decision making process is analyzing the problem. The next important step is a systematic analysis of available data. Sound decisions are based on proper collection, classification, and analysis of facts and figures. There are three principles relating to the analysis and classification as explained below. The futurity of the decision. This means to what length of time the decision will be applicable to a course of action. The second, the impact of decision on other functions and area of business. Then is the qualitative consideration which comes into the picture. Developing alternative solutions. The main aim of developing alternative solution is to have the best possible decision out of the available alternative courses of action. In developing alternative solutions, the managers comes across creative or original solutions to the problem. Thereafter, selecting the best type of alternative. The following are four important points to be kept in mind in selecting the best from various alternatives. Risk element involved in each course of action against the expected gain. Economy of efforts involved in each alternatives that is securing desired result with the least effort. Proper timing of the decision and action. And final selection of decision is also affected by the limited resources available at our disposal. Human resources are also limited. We must have the right type of people to carry out our decisions. Their caliber, understanding, intelligence, and skills will finally determine what they can and cannot do. Then comes the implementation of decision. For proper and effective execution of the decision, Three things are very important, that is proper and effective communication of decisions to the subordinates. Decisions should be communicated in clear, concise and understandable manner. Acceptance of decision by the subordinate is important. Group participation and involvement of the employees will facilitate the smooth execution of decision. Correct timing in the execution of decision minimizes the resistance to change. Almost every decision introduces a change and people are hesitant to accept a change. Implementation of the decision at the proper time plays an important role in the execution of the decision. Thereafter, what we talk about is a follow-up. A follow-up system ensures the achievement of objectives. It is exercised through control. Simply stated, it is concerned with the process of checking the proper implementation of decision. Follow-up is indispensable so as to modify and improve upon the decision at the earliest opportunity. The final stage, what we talk about is monitoring and feedback. Feedback provides the means of determining the effectiveness of the implemented decision. It is imperative to monitor the results of strategic decisions made. Be ready to adopt to your plan as necessity or to switch to another potential solution if your chosen solution does not work. Let us now talk about types of decision in an organization. Business managers have to take a variety of decisions. Some are routine and some are long-term implementation decisions. Dear friends, let us make an attempt to understand the decision-making process. The strategic decision. These are major decisions which influence whole or major part of the organization. These 
contribute directly to the major part of the organization and have a long range effect on the organization these decisions are unstructured and managers have to apply business judgment intuition and evaluation into the definition of the problem tactical decisions these relates to the implementation of the strategic decisions directed towards developing divisional plans structuring workflow establishing distribution channel acquisition of resources such as man material and money they are taken at the middle level of the management whereas the operational decisions relates to day to day operations of the enterprise having a short term horizon and always repeated these are based on facts regarding the events and do not require much of the business judgment operational decisions are taken at low level of the management the type of decision is based on the degree of knowledge about the outcomes or events yet to take place if the managers has full and precise knowledge of the events or outcomes which is to occur then the decision making is not a problem in the case of managers having full knowledge it is a situation of certainty having partial knowledge leaves the decision making under the risk if the manager has no knowledge the decision making is under uncertainty let us now take a case study how mis supported decision making at the enterprise level the hospital management system at wipro wipro hospital management and information system is a comprehensive solution that automates the clinical electronic medical records administrative and inventory functions thereby leading to improved operational efficiencies cost reduction improving quality of patient care it is a comprehensive enterprise wide system that covers all aspects of hospital management and operations the platform has been deployed in more than 240 hospitals 1000 plus physician clinics and eight countries across india middle east and southeast asia it supports the largest e governance health it program touching more than 50 million lives in india wipro's hospital information system seamlessly automates the clinical revenue administrative operational and inventory functions the fully integrated information environment delivered by our his can interface with a wide variety of picture archiving and communication system handled and mobile devices rifd biometric devices smart cards lab equipment and third party applications the key success story for government corporation india wipro created one of the largest medical record databases in the world for a statutory corporation under government of india the network spans 150 hospitals and 1400 dispensaries for a care providers kingdom of saudi arabia wipro reduced patient waiting time by almost 25% reduced claims processing time from 60 days to 30 days and enabled annual saving of 1 lakh 20000 pages only from ucaf printing for a 30 bedded hospital in the kingdom of saudi arabia let us take another example a case study that is of center for railway information system the center for railway information system designs develops implements and maintains most of the important information systems of indian railways it is located in chanakya puri new delhi 
CRIS was established in 1986 by the Ministry of Railways of India. The computerization of freight operation information system of Indian Railways, the FOIS enables management and control of freight movement, optimizes asset utilization and the generation of freight invoice. About 70% of the railway freight revenue is paid electronically. The next, that is the passenger reservation system. It is a national-wide online passenger reservation and ticketing system developed and maintained by CRIS, also known as CONCERT, that is Country Wide Network of Computerized Enable Reservation and Ticketing. It interconnects the four regional computing systems in Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, and Chennai into a national PRS grid. It allows a passenger anywhere to book train tickets from any station to any station. PRS handles reservations, changes, cancellations, and refunds, reserving over 1.6 million seats and berth daily. Then is the next generation e-ticketing, the internet-based e-ticketing reservation system developed for IRCTC that connects to the backend of PRS. The computerization of India's railways unreserved ticketing system. Unreserved ticketing is a major component of Indian Railways ticket volume and an important source of revenue. UTS delivery. UTS deliver fast, unreserved ticketing from dedicated counters, replacing manual printed car tickets. The architecture integrates with handheld terminals, smart cards, and vending machine. And is what we talk about is a national train inquiry system for last train running times and live train tracking. Rail budget compilation system developed for budgetary input from the Indian Railways, zones and production units. RBCS facilitates data capture, database construction, demand analysis and estimates pruning for the railway budget. Let's take another example of management information system implementation at a restaurant. A waiter takes an order at a table and then enters its online via one of the six terminals located in the restaurant dining room. The order is routed to a printer in the appropriate preparation area. The cold item printed if it is a salad, the hot item printed if it is a hot sandwich, or the bar printer if it is a drink. A customer meals checklist bill, the items ordered, and the respective prices are automatically generated. This ordering system eliminates the old three carbon copy guest check system as well as many problems caused by a waiter's handwriting. When the kitchen runs out of food items, the cooks send out an out of stock message which will be displayed on the dining room terminal when the waiter tries to order that item. This gives the waiter faster feedback, enabling them to give better service to the customer. Other system features aid management in the planning and control of their restaurant business. The system provides up to the minute information on the food items ordered and breaks out percentages showing sales of each item versus the total sales. This helps management plan menus according to customer's taste. The system also compares the weekly sales totals versus food cost, allowing planning for tighter cost control. In addition, whenever an order is voided, the reason for the void are keyed in. This may help later in management decision, especially 
in the void constituently related to food or service. Acceptance of the system by the user is exceptionally high since the waiter and waitresses were involved in the selection and design process. Strategic decisions are characterized by uncertainty at the top level where up to the time minute information on the food items ordered and breakouts the percentage showing sale of each item versus total sale is provided. The top level where strategic planning is done compares the weekly sales compares the weekly sales total versus food cost allowing planning for tighter cost control. The decisions to be made in the areas of operational control pertain to implementation of specific tasks through appropriate technology. This is basically a low level where the waiter take the order and enter it online via one of the six terminals located in the restaurant dining room and the order is routed to a printer in the appropriate preparation area. Let us throw some light onto the role of management information system in decision making. At the outset, it is essential to state that the decision making is an integral part of any business. This is because majority of operations revolve around decision made by the management and other key stakeholders. In order for decisions to be made adequately, it is vital for their to be a good information system since decisions rely on information possible. There are three vital roles that information system can perform for a business enterprise. Support for business processes and operation, support for decision making by employees and managers and support of strategy for competitive advantage. MIS combines hardware, software and network products in an integrated solution that provides managers with data in a format suitable for analysis, monitoring, decision making and reporting. The system collects data, stores it in a database and makes it available for user over a secure network. The first, the information assess. The managers need rapid assess to information to make decision about strategic, financial, marketing and operational issues. Companies collect a vast amount of information including customer records, sales data, market research, financial records, manufacturing and inventory data and human resource records. The information is however held in separate databases making it difficult for decision making to access data quickly. Management information system speeds up information retrieval by storing data at a central location accessible via a network. The result is decisions are quicker and much accurate. Data collection, management information system pulls in data from outside and inside the organization. By setting up a network that links a central database to retail outlets, distributors and members of a supply chain, companies can collect sales and production data daily or more frequently and make the decision on the latest information. Collaboration. In situations where decision making involves groups as well as individuals, management information system makes it easy for teams to make collaboration decisions. Management information system enables members to access the same essential data even if they are working in different locations. Interpretation. The management information system collates raw data into reports in a format that enables decision makers to quickly identify patterns and trend that would not have been obvious in raw data. Then is the presentation. The reporting tools enable decision maker to customize reports to the information needs of the business personnel. 
if the decision requires approval by a senior executive the decision maker can create a brief summary for review managers can share detailed finding of report with colleagues create full reports and provide levels of supplementary data multitasking a good management information system can perform multiple tasks at the same time this increases efficiency in a company since several business operations can be conducted simultaneously this ensures decisions are made speedily when compared to those systems which can only handle one task at a time then is maintenance management information systems can easily be programmed to perform certain action at certain times managers can program the system to perform certain routine checks which can help in improving efficiency of a company through easy discovery of bugs and problems this programmability also saves a lot of time and resources for owners and their efforts can be channelized towards more fruitful task and lastly the updates most management information system programs are endowed with the capacity to give real time updates of the occurrence in company or system this augments progress and improvement in company operations through timely decision making this is a crucial for company where a slight slap can lead to a very huge losses let us further try to understand the application of information systems the application of information systems that are implemented in today's business world can be classified as either operational or management information systems operation sports systems produce a variety of information products for internal and external use such as processing business transaction controlling business processes sporting enterprise communication and collaboration updating corporate databases effectively they however do not emphasize the specific information product that can best be used by managers further processing by management information system is usually required on the other hand management information system provides information in the form of reports and display to managers and business professionals sporting day to day business needs usually information has been used in advance to adequately meet the expectation on operational and tactical levels of the organization where decision making situation are more structured and better defined decision support systems computer based information systems that provide interactive information support to managers and business professionals during the decision making process the dss use analytical models specialized databases decision makers insight judgments and an interactive computer modeling process to support semi structured business decisions thereafter we talk about the executive information systems information systems that combine many of the features of dss and mis here the information is presented customized to the preferences and the needs of executives using the systems such as graphical user interface graphical displays exception reporting trend analysis ability to pull out reports and display related information at lowest level of details specialized processing systems information system characterized as functional business systems strategic information system knowledge management system and expert systems it is of paramount importance to understand that the business applications of information system in the real world are typically integrated combinations of all these types of information system practically 
all the different types and roles of information systems are combined into integrated or cross-functional business information systems that provide a variety of functions, record keeping and transaction processing codes. So students, let's now summarize what we have learned in this module. Effective decision making demand accurate, timely and relevant information. Management information systems make it possible for the organization to get the right information to the right people at the right time by emphasizing the interaction between organizational people, the data collected in its various information technology systems and the procedures it uses. Management information system plays a crucial role. Management information system plays a crucial role of providing a wide range of streamlined options from which decisions maker are able to make their preferred choices. As organizations grow, management information system allows information to move between functional area and departmentals. MIS allows information to move between functional area and departments instantly, reducing the need for face-to-face -face communication among employees, thus increasing the responsiveness of the organization. Well-constructed and well-organized management information system can provide management with the knowledge it needs to reduce operating cost and increase profits. Well-planned information system and technologies make it possible for the decision maker to use real-time data from the marketplace when making informal decisions. Thank you.